Hello everyone, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest, Bone Voyage. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is short length, about 10 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 100 kudos, completion of the dig site quest, and have sailed to Zaya at least once. It is also recommended that you have 21 construction. In your worn equipment, it is recommended that you have a skills necklace or a Xerix talisman, and weight reducing gear. In your inventory, you'll need two vodka and an unfinished Marintil potion. It is recommended that you bring a dig site pennant or dig site teleport scrolls, rock teleports, amulet of glory or explorer's ring 2, two lumberyard teleports, super energy and stamina potions. There are some items that you'll need for after the quest if you would like access to the bank on Fossil Island. An iron bar, two oak planks, five nails, and a hammer. There are no enemies in the quest. Linked in the description below are maps for more information. To start the quest, you must first travel to the Rock Museum, which is located on the eastern side of Rock. Once there, speak to curator Haig Hallen and ask him if he's heard any interesting news. Say, sign me up, and the quest should begin. Be sure to check your quest journal to make sure it's started. Now, travel to the dig site using either your dig site pendant or dig site teleport scroll. Walk directly east to the canal barge. Speak to the barge foreman. Then, travel to the sawmill northwest of the barge. You can simply walk or use your lumberyard teleport. Talk to the sawmill operator and tell him that you're here on behalf of the museum archaeological team. He will give you a sawmill proposal. Now travel to the woodcutting guild. An easy way to get there is by using your skills necklace to the woodcutting guild or a Xerix talisman to Xerix lookout. Speak to the woodcutting guild sawmill operator and give him the proposal. If you do not have the requirements to enter the guild, open the Eastern Gate instead. He will give you a sawmill agreement. Return to the Vrock Sawmill Operator. Talk to him about the archaeological team to give him the agreement. Talk with the barge foreman again. Then talk to the barge guard nearby and ask if you can go onto the barge. Once on it, talk to the lead navigator. Be sure not to confuse this with the junior navigator standing nearby. Say, yep, that would be me. At this point, you can select Know What Happened to learn more about the previous expeditions to Fossil Island or I'm aware, no need to tell me about them to skip the extra dialogue. Make your way to Port Serum, either using an Amulet of Glory to drain her village and walking west, or an Explorer's Ring 2 to the Falador farming patch and then walk south. Go to the Rusty Anchor Inn on the north side of town. Speak to Jack Siegel. Ask him if he has ever made any cursed voyages. Return to the lead navigator on the barge. You'll need to speak with the barge guard to enter again. The lead navigator will ask that you get him a potion of sea legs and the junior navigator will ask for a charm. Exit by talking with the barge guard again. Run to the Silverea mine, which is located directly north of you.
speak to the odd old man, and talk about lucky charms. Say, I'm making a cursed voyage. He will give you a bone charm. Now, travel to Varrock either using a Varrock teleport tab or by walking. Once there, go to the apothecary, which is indicated by the purple potion bottle. Speak to the apothecary. Say that you would like to talk about Bone Voyage. Talk to him again, and he'll take the vodka and the unfinished Marintel potion, and will give you a potion of sea legs. Return to the barge. Speak with the junior navigator to give him the bone charm, and speak with the lead navigator to give him the potion of sea legs. When you are ready to sail the fossil island, say, I'm ready, let's go. The potion has made everyone pass out except you and the junior navigator, who has never navigated before, so you must steer the barge to Fossil Island. The interface window will appear. You must keep the arrow facing north as much as possible. Steer using the left and right arrows. If the arrow tilts to the left, select the right arrow. If the arrow tilts to the right, select the left arrow. You can adjust how fast the barge is sailing by using the up and down arrows. The progress bar at the top will let you know how much further you have to go. I suggest lowering the sails until the arrow is pointing straight north, then raise to full sails. Once the progress bar is full, you will have arrived at Fossil Island and completed the quest. Congratulations, you have received one quest point and access to Fossil Island. Now I'll show you how to unlock the ability to use a bank on Fossil Island. Exit the barge by right-clicking on the Junior Navigator and select Travel. Walk east towards the bank icon inside of the tent. Click on the dismantled chest to build the chest pieces. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe with notifications on and I'll see you next time.